Hello everyone, Dan of 14th Prime. Here we are today with the final, I guess, video eight of eight. Spider-Man Homecoming, Vulture Build-A-Figure, Flight Wing Suit, all put together for you. There you're taking a look at this thing. And yeah, this thing is awesome. It's huge. Uh, tip to tip, let's call it about 23 inches across. So big, big wingspan. I mean, this thing would smother a child's face. This thing would intimidate your neighborhood hawk. It is really cool, really large. So let's check it out. I've showed you the vulture figure separately. You can look for that video on the channel. Maybe I'll drop a card if I remember. So I was really impressed with all the details in the figure and the suit and everything. He comes with a stand. So there is like this kind of white stand there, which basically the, the wings just sit into. And I guess you can pick his wings off the ground when he's like that. Kind of still leans forward quite a bit. But yeah, I guess you can pull it off. You can get his feet off the ground a little bit. He does start to lean forward. I wish the stand was a little more stable, had a bigger foot to it. So you could really get the legs up a bit more. But it's okay. So here you got the back end view of the figure. And just these wings are... Thank God I got this new lens. It's like super wide. Because fitting this thing in a frame is no small feat. But you can take a look at all of that glory on the back. And I've showed you all those pieces across all the videos, but pretty much kind of a, you know, let's call it gunmetal kind of gray main paint line across the wings, green accent colors. Then obviously you get some more unique coloring through here with this kind of teal and the purple. Don't know if that's just a normal coloring effect or if it's some kind of booster effect they're trying to paint in. And then of course you got the turbine engines here, uh, which are more of just like a silver paint. So the wings have a lot of cool articulation. These engines kind of attach separately. This is the main centerpiece, it comes with the vulture. Then you get these engines here, which kind of attach into the front section, the top. And uh, they then have these rotating pieces. So you can spin those bad boys around as well as just kind of move these back and forth. There's then these pieces here which come with, I believe, the main movie figures, Homecoming Spider-Man homemade suit and tech suit. This was the hard piece to get off the tech suit. So they will then fold in, fold back, or of course forward, I'll turn them around. Uh, that's pretty much the articulation from there. And then out here, I forget who he had, Cosmic and maybe Moon Knight. Because um, yeah, these were Beetle and Tombstone. So these kind of fold down like this as well. So that's kind of all the points of articulation. They put nice movements everywhere. You know, you think they could basically do it. So I think it's pretty cool. And then just to show you some of that from the front again, I guess I didn't show this. These these can bend this way. I think there's a scene in the movie. I saw the Guardians of the Galaxy over the weekend. Cool Spider-Man preview in there. I think there's a scene where he's like picking up Spidey with this wing arm or something. So those actually bend in and back as well as go down. So there's like three points of articulation there, forward, backward, and then, you know, rotating up or down, right? Like that. Then you have this inner wing section again, and then you can kind of bend it in. If you want to get even more of the wing, bend it again back, basically articulating the entire wing. And then you have the engine pieces. Right now they're kind of absent because they're up top high. You put them back in. You can tilt them up top like that. And then again, these turbines rotate in there as well. So that's basically all your points of articulation. So what do we do? We counted one, two, three, let's call it. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's call it eight, I guess, points of articulation in total across the wing set. So we'll try here just to do a bit of close in panning just so you can check out the overall detail of the wing. I've kind of been showing you piece by piece, but I'll give the all together look. A lot of nice kind of, you know, the individual spike or feather accent there on the outside is cool. You get the most green versus gray contrast there on those outside pieces. You come in here, a lot of nice detailing through uh, this inner wing. A lot of good detail there. Kind of... Attachment section has the most intermolded detail in there. You get a peg that goes into Vulture's back. And then, you know, just kind of 
Same dilly over here as we move to the right. So here, just some of that again from the back. A lot of nice detail on the top of the wings here. It's, you know, the top of the wing, I guess the back I'm calling it, but it's kind of the piece that uh, you see most as it's on the outside of the figure. A lot of good color, a lot of good molding and detail through here. So you can check that out as well. So I think the one thing this figure really needed was like a flight stand, a flight pole, something to get it up in the air, balance it better, let you be more dynamic with the pose because this little plastic stand it comes with just isn't cutting it. All right, guys, so hope you liked the video. See you next time.